Okay, in this video I'm going to give you a scientific explanation into how and why my planes are flying and how I use that principle to design airplanes. So, back in 2015 I started experimenting with uh, missiles with the canard fins <clears throat> and I noticed when I threw the planes that they would, the missiles, that they would pull up. And so what was happening is the uh, the canard fins were generating force and the downward pull of gravity made it pull up. So what was happening is called the center of lift. Uh, so the, the farther, the, the harder and the faster that this plane, this missile was uh, flying, uh, it would actually move the center of lift forward of the center of gravity and it would make the missile pull up. So the center of lift is uh, is just a mathematical average of you know where we're at um, the airfoil, uh, the forces of the lift are acting on on the airfoil itself. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm uh, carefully placing the center of gravity in, in relation to the center of lift. So this is why my cruise missiles can uh, can spin but still pull up and, and glide. So um, this is what I call a positive pitch. So whenever the center of uh, lift moves in front of the center of gravity, uh, it'll pitch up just like uh, you know the King Cobra and the intruder missile do. So that extends the range. So I'm going to show you a little uh, animation to kind of help you visualize what's doing. So, using that same concept, I designed, of course, the Black Knight and the center of gravity, let's see, probably right about there. So, after I launched it, the, hard, the, far, the faster the plane flies, the farther back the center of the uh, lift moves. So, it moved right above the center of gravity. So, that's called the neutral pitch, where it doesn't go down, don't go up, it stays level. And you can see that in a few videos with the uh, the Tempest. You can see it doing that. So the Tempest will fly. You launch it, it goes up, and then it'll go into a neutral glide. And then when it slows down, it'll pull up because the center of center of lift is moving back forward. And it'll pitch up, and it slows down, and it'll pitch down slightly. Same thing with the Eclipse. So, like I said, I'm going to show you a little animation to kind of, you know, so you can understand what it looks like. Um, and the negative pitch is the one I'm using with my gliders, so the center of lift is actually moving behind the center of gravity. And when it does that, it pulls up and it'll arc down. So when the glider is arcing down, it's gaining airspeed, and it's at quite an elevation. So it has a good amount of airspeed coming from the, the height of the flight, and that's why it's going 500 feet sometimes. So the, the big... Uh, the big innovation, you know, uh, with the the airtime gliders and the distance gliders is when you're designing these airplanes, you need to um, keep the center of gravity up. A lot of people just uh, talk about the center of gravity like a lateral, but it's not. I keep it up here, so that's where the mirror lock comes in handy. So when you put weight on the wings, it's going to move the center of gravity up a little bit, so that's going to help it with a negative pitch. Um, there's a lot of different ways that you can do that, add weight to the wings, anything that will move the center of gravity up. You know, I've seen people p 
put weight like right here in this area and the Marilock does that um, uh, you know I use uh, a certain weight paper uh, if you try to have a, a plane that has too much wing area it's not gonna go into a negative pitch it, it'll resist that so you have to have the right weight of paper the right um, wing area um, the center of gravity has to be right you have to balance all that out correctly you know the same thing with the, uh, the airtime gliders that I put all the, the weight right here on top of the wing so when you throw it up it'll arc down and gives a little bit of airspeed and um, you know it gives it the height so that's what you really need to have with a airtime glider or a distance glider so with a Kestrel I use a little bit smaller paper so it arcs down but if you use a, a sheet of paper this size it's not going to have a negative pitch it'll just kind of pull up you don't really want to do that so there, like I said there's a million different ways that you can you know alter the center of gravity for uh, the neutral glide and the positive glide and the fighter jets you can kind of just put a little bit of paper on top of the wing right here a little strip and this will help with give it a neutral pitch so I'm going to show you a little animation of the uh, the gliders and what it looks like when they uh, pitch up. So that's pretty much it. It's a full spectrum of uh, variable pitch is what I call it. Some people call it self-correcting self airfoil or just inherent stability. Or there's all kinds of terms for it, but I just call it, of, uh, I call it a uh, variable pitch because, you know, with the missiles, um, the center of gravity is just kind of right about there, you know, and the center lift kind of acts here. And you can actually throw them straight up and it'll actually pitch down depending on how what direction the center of gravity is is flying so this is you know can have quite a range of uh, pitch and profiles um, you know like I said with the black knight and in the eclipse and the tempest the Merrill lock works really good at putting weight on top so you can have a neutral glide with these um, another added benefit of using uh, the center of lift is the stability. Uh, you know, it acts on the top of the plane and it keeps it stable. So this is why it's very accurate. That's why I can I can hit a target with this over 200 feet because it has it makes it very stable. The same thing with the, everything else. The center of lift, when you manage it correctly in relation to the center of gravity, uh, you you add stability to the plane. <coughs> Uh, so I've seen a few people kind of mess with the center of lift in relation to the center of gravity with the variable pitch, but, you know, they have mixed results with it. Sometimes they say it flies farther than what it actually does, but I, uh, I've actually managed to get uh, the Conqueror out over 500 feet twice, and I have another glider I'm working on that is getting very close to being able to do that consistently. So I hope you all uh, learned something from this video, and I hope you take what I told you and apply it. So that's it.